Hello, this is Mrs. Bobby, and we are going to be doing a split page here. We're doing lesson 25, but we're working on a couple different pages. Um, so this top part is a certain page, and then the next page down, the next part down is on the on the next page. So we're going to be taking um, a look on this problem. We're going to be splitting three-fourths in a tape diagram. We're going to create the model that it asks, and we're going to find the percentage that it's based on based off of a model. And then I'm going to show you like a standard algorithm method that you would do, you could do to do this. All right. So for all you people out there who like to create models, so Maria completed three fourths of her work day. So we're going to take her work day and there's her three fourths. So we have zero fourths, one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths, meaning the whole thing. Okay. So she completed, she completed um, three fourths of this picture. So if we look at this as a percentage, this would be 0% and this would be 100%, correct? So if we have 100% and we are splitting this picture into four equal parts, that means we can divide by four. And we can find out that each bar here represents 25%. So 25%, 50%, 75%, 100%. So it says what percent of her workday is completed? Well, she, she finished three parts of this. So like this part, this part, and this part. So she hit the 75%. What percentage of workday does she have left? She has 25% of her day to go. So that is how you do it in picture mode and uh, the math behind it. Standard algorithm way would be here's your three fourths. Changing this into a percent would be dropping the numerator inside the division box, which would then become a dividend. And then we would put our denominator as a divisor on the outside. We had annex some zeros as we're gonna need to, raise up my decimal point. Four can't go into three. Four goes into 30, seven times to make 28. Two left over, bring down my zero, goes in five times. No left over, see how we have 0.75? I'm just gonna bring that down here. Decimal changes to a percent by two jumps towards the percent sign, so that would change to 75%. This is considered standard algorithm way, so I'm just going to call this standard algorithm. Okay, and now we're going to move into the second part of this lesson, which is converting them back and forth to whatever they are. All right, so here we go. We're only going to do a couple of these. We're only going to do a couple. So here we go. If we're given a decimal, we can take the decimal just like I showed you a minute ago, and we could jump two spots to the right, and that will make your percent 35%. If we're going from a percent to a decimal, we can do the exact opposite and go two jumps to the left and make that. Now, a fraction is how you say it is how you write it, or all percents go over 100. Now, the thought process of all percents go over 100 to me is a lot easier, but then how you read this is 35 hundredths, and that's that. Now, if they ask you to put a fraction in lowest terms, then you would have to. This fraction right here, 1 8th, to make it into the decimal, we do what we just 